During the cleanup, we've come across many things, some useful, some not so useful, like a lot of umbrellas, sake bottles, lighters, about 15 TVs, more bottles, wheels, rice planting trays, and did I mention bottles? There's also been useful things like money, tools, including this old set of wooden mallets. In this video, I'll highlight seven of the more interesting things we've found. First up is photos of the house just after it was built around 30 years ago. The house is made of Douglas fir wood. You can see how the colour has naturally transformed to a browny grey over the years. It was sometimes a little sad going through old possessions that the owners had left behind, particularly when we found a lot of things belonging to children, like toys, magazines and school books like this one. This is a junior high school English notebook. Looks like a lot of class was spent dreaming about other things. This small Shinto altar is called a Kamidana. Shinto is the traditional religion of Japan that worships numerous kami, spirits and gods. The small circular mirror is the Shintai, which houses the kami, giving it a physical form. The two red dolls on either side of the Kamidana are Daruma, which symbolize perseverance and good luck. Covering all bases, next we have the Butsudan. A Butsudan is a Buddhist shrine used for paying respects to family members who have died. It's quite common to see these in Japanese homes, particularly in rural areas. Photos of ancestors are placed above the Butsudan. Inside, people light incense sticks and place other artifacts. This one is not so much interesting, but a little disgusting. It's a stuffed pheasant that hasn't aged well. I found it in one of the sheds. Pachinko is a kind of Japanese arcade slot machine game. If you've been to Japan, you'll have seen huge pachinko parlors. They're hard to miss. Although it is gambling, apparently there's a bit of skill involved in launching the ball into the machine where if you score a jackpot, you win extra balls to exchange for money or prizes. This one was probably used for practice or to pass time. I tried plugging it in, but unfortunately it doesn't work. Last but not least, this is a wooden rice thresher for separating the rice from the chaff. One of our neighbours explained to me how it worked. So they put the rice in here and turn this wheel, which would then remove the chaff. They would pull the fan to blow the, the chaff away and then the brown rice would come out from here. I think that was a caterpillar on my back. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I have another video coming up soon.